Hey HB, do you know that old story how a small business started in their tiny little garage and grew to be a success? Four Sons Brewing started in a tiny little garage and became a big success. And that's where we are today. So come follow me and we'll introduce you to the legacy of what is now known as Four Sons in Huntington Beach. And I think Duke is here, Duke Dufresne. How, How are you? Hi, Matt. I'm doing good. Good to see you. Oh, thank you. Hey, what a great story, you know? Mm -hmm. When did it all start, Duke? Well, uh, it was about 10 years ago. We, uh, as a family, we were thinking, let's do something interesting. Let's do something that we can do as a family. Together. Yes. And we started searching on different options. We looked at franchises and other restaurants. Uh, we even tried a couple of small businesses that didn't work out too well. And all the while, um, one of my sons was home brewing. And all the while, we were visiting breweries. We loved breweries, we loved beer. And it finally clicked to us that uh, maybe what we should do is open a brewery, because that's one thing we kind of knew something about. Uh, so then we, we started the process, and uh, we definitely wanted to be in Huntington Beach. We all live in Huntington Beach. And we started searching for a spot to do this. And fortunately, we found this great spot here on Gothard Street and uh, we opened in 2014 and uh, you know here we are we're still standing. Once we got into this even a couple months into it it was obvious that we're either gonna have to do this full-time or not at all. Were you surprised at the um, welcoming of the community? I mean you were a, a hit so to speak pretty much from the beginning and, and you got your you got your your taps out there, you were getting all this great awards and accolades and so forth. Was that a shock to you? I think it was, yeah, it was surprising. We didn't know what to think. And, uh, you know, on day one, it was a tremendous response. And uh, when we started this place, we all agreed, let's, let's try to make a place where we would want to hang out as a family. And that way, if nobody comes, at least we have a place where we like to hang out. So that worked well. So we wanted to keep it small and keep it family run. Uh, and that's what we've done. Well, you've done a wonderful job in two other locations. Talk about expanding. Mm. I mean, two other locations. Right. Yeah, we've uh, not only did we expand here at Gothard Street into the, the production facility, we also have a distillery here now uh, at this site. But then uh, right in the middle of COVID, unfortunately, bad timing. We opened a small restaurant at Bella Terra across from the, the movie theaters, yeah. offering uh, spicy hot chicken and, of course, uh, our beer. And then uh, just last year, we opened a spot on Main Street at Main and Orange, uh, just a little small place with a small menu. Growth, some growth is good, but I'm a firm believer that you don't want to get too far ahead of yourselves because you do lose something that was the magic that you started with. Well, speaking about your magic, your magic has to be not just your wife, but your four sons. Mm -hmm. and, and if it wasn't for the four sons, we would have just two sons, right? Or three sons, <laughs> right? right. So, but they're I'd all have in... to have a different name. <laughs> they're all involved, though. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. fully involved. My wife and I, all four of uh, the boys. So we're pretty much involved in everything. And usually you'll see one or more of us here in the tap room when you come by. Well, I think we're going to meet all of them right now. All right. How about that? Sounds good. And it's all made in Huntington Beach. Derek Dufresne is the master brewer here at Four Sons, and, and you're one of the Four Sons. I am indeed. You're number two. Second oldest, yes. Derek. Yes. Now, did you know that all your other brothers would be kind of joining in on this? Do you get that feeling? Or? Yeah, I mean, we, we've always been a very close family, so I mean, whenever we do something, we kind of all do it together, so it was, it was kind of natural that it would lead to that. Give us a thumbnail sketch here on, on what people can expect here at Four Sons with this. So this is our uh, 10 barrel system that we brew on. It makes about 300, 300 gallons uh, per batch. Oh my goodness. Um, so basically a quick rundown of how we do it is we basically take barley, add it to this tank on the left, get it soaked with water for about an hour just to get all the sugars out of it. And then we'll send it to our other tank, which is where we're gonna actually boil. We're gonna add hops, get a little bitterness. Uh, once it's done boiling, we're gonna send it to one of our six fermenters that we have over here, add the yeast. The yeast is gonna take those sugars we got, turn it into alcohol, and then we have beer about a week later. And not just here, but you have accounts all over the place. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we distribute to uh, four states right now and then all of Southern California. Four states. Yes. And it's made in Huntington Beach. Exactly. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Well, we're all together. We're all here at Four Sons. Everyone is here. But 
the one machine, Duke, that really started it off for all of you is right here. Yeah, definitely. This uh, machine was in uh, Derek's garage uh, about nine years ago when we first uh, started deciding that we're going to make this happen. And uh, this is what we used to use. This is what we used to make that coconut amber, uh, one of our first uh, big beers that was a hit. And uh, Derek used the lessons learned on this machine to then uh, move up to the larger system that we still grew on. Okay, we have the sons. You're going to introduce, and they all start with D. They're all D's, mm -hmm. like Duke. It starts yeah. with Duke, like Duke or and Don. Don. <laughs> you and Don. And go ahead. Yeah. So here we have our uh, four sons and one of my grandchildren, uh, older son Devin, who uh, we all do everything around here, but as a kind of an extra duty, Devin also is head of operations and takes care of all of our distribution, our salespeople. Uh, Dustin, uh, youngest son, who uh, he is the assistant brewer, also does all the other things we do. We run the tap room, canning, kegging. Uh, Derek, who uh, you talk to, is the head brewer. And Drew, who also does everything around here, is also responsible for most of the cool artwork you see around the brewery. The oh, special so. signs and all that that goes with it. Very good. And then we have Dylan here, uh, who's one of three grandchildren. Three grandchildren. We do have a grandchild that doesn't start with a... We have two that don't start with a D, <laughs> but they couldn't make it here today. But, you know, probably someday we'll all be working for Dylan. So. <laughs> Dylan, are you going to carry on the legacy? Yes? You're going to do it? <laughs> well, there they are, the four sons. And that is all what it has to be, the legacy in Huntington Beach, brewed and made in Huntington Beach. All the cobblestones of Old World. You know, Huntington Beach has had a love affair a 45-year love affair with the Bischoff family. They came to Huntington Beach, they built the first mixed-use facility in the city, and today, well, everything old is new again. So follow me and I'll, I'll show you. Wow, you'll see it, how they've transformed a family and a family business all in Huntington Beach. The menu. Hey, Bernie. Hey, man. Hey, hey Joe. How are you? I'm okay. How you doing? It's good to see you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, that's a great story. Old World's a great story because it really started with you. Yeah. You, Joe. You brought it from what? Alpine Village originally? Was it Alpine Village? Alpine Village, yeah. And then you came to Huntington Beach over 45 years ago. Yeah. What was that like? knowing that you're going to be in a new city, a mixed-use facility, and you're going to bring a family up at the same time. What was that like, Joe? Okay, there was nothing to it. Nothing at all? No. Why, why should it be? What was the magic? What, what, how did you balance building out Old World and Bernie and Cindy, and later you had grandkids and stuff? I mean, what was that like? Well... I didn't think about all of that. Because you were too busy. I just did, yeah. What was it like for you, then, being here at a brand new city, really? Because you came from Alpine Village, right? I mean, well, it, be, it began, it, it, it started there. Yes, uh, everything started in Alpine Village, and we migrated over here in 1978. was our opening day here in Huntington Beach. Started building in, actually, 1976. I was about 17. I just had finished high school, uh, and uh, so unfortunately I didn't get to go uh, here to Huntington Beach High School. I was actually looking forward to maybe doing that, but moved here a little bit too late for that. But instead I went to Golden West College, played soccer over there. Uh, matter of fact, we won the state championship in 1977. There you go. And uh, other than that, um, uh, it was uh, Huntington Beach is a fantastic city. But your dad was obviously an influence early, early on with you. Oh, yeah. I always said I want to be just like my dad growing up, uh, being a builder, running, uh, running the projects that we have. And, uh, and so here I am at uh, Old World Huntington Beach. And, of course, this was the first uh, mixed-use shopping center of its kind in Orange County, L.A. County. This was the first one. Yeah, and, not not uh, just Huntington Beach, but around. Yes. 
Yes. Traditionally, the shop owners, the shop, would live above their shop, traditionally speaking. Is that correct? Yeah, that's exactly how it's uh, in Europe. He always has something up his sleeve, always looking for something uh, bigger and better. And I think we have bigger and better, too, because you have a partner in all this, too, and, and that's your, your baby sister, your younger sister, Cindy. That's right. And I think we'll go ahead and join them. And I think they're in the very, very famous room here at Old World. Hey, Honey Beach, this is the Festival Hall. A lot of good memories here, a lot of great memories over the 45 years that they've been here at Old World. This is the whole family, of course. And Cindy. Hello. The, the baby sister, right? So <laughs> how old were you when Old World became, well, Old World? Uh, I was a few months old and about a year old when it was done, completed, and I learned to walk on these cobblestones here at Old World. Wow. And what was it like having a big brother and dad? It was just the, the four of you and your mom, of course, Dolores at the time, uh, God rest her soul. But um, back then, what was it like growing up Old World? I was like living in Disneyland. All my yeah. friends were envious of me being able to walk out of the house and have a festival outside and go up to the bar and order Shirley Temples for everybody. So it was a lot of fun. Were you pretty much under the guise of your brother most of the time? Or how did that dynamic work? I know you were close to your mom, too. Oh, definitely. And my grandmother, who lived to be 103, lived right next door to us here in Old World as well. So who do we have here? Okay, well, we've met Bernie, my brother. And then we've got his eldest son, Marcus. And then we've got my daughter, Ava, and my son, Ronan, and Bernie's youngest son, Mateus. And then, of course, we got Papa Joe here, the man who started it all. You did it. You did this. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it, too. The legend. Yeah, the legend. <laughs> Some great memories here, too. Watching these kids grow up. What was that like around this entertainment venue and restaurant? What well, it was actually an, an amazing thing just because the age difference between my brother and I and the fact that we both had children around the same time. So the fact that the kids grew up together was just a remarkable thing because Marcus was the leader of the gang here <laughs> and he would play with all the kids and devise all kinds of cool little get-ups and play around the village and they just had such a good time growing up on these cobblestones as well. Bernie, there was an accident that occurred here, a terrific, a horrific accident not too long ago. We almost lost you. Yeah, I guess, I guess you could say that, but uh, God willing and many prayers from the whole community and family and everybody, I, I made it. Um, here I am, all, all back in one piece, uh, everything good to go. We're but, so happy. Yeah, I mean, aren't we happy? Because folks, we didn't, we didn't know. The community didn't know. And it wasn't, how long ago was that now? It was October 5th, uh, 2019. See, it wasn't long ago, and you're here to help carry on that legacy of the family. Well, um, I guess uh, God had a few more uh, things for me to take care of. <laughs> a few more Oktoberfests. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Bernie. We had to get everybody trained. <laughs> How about a grandkid perspective on all this, right, and your legacy, uh, Marcus? Uh, what can you say, growing up Bischoff, what do you have to say? It was always an adventure. We always woke up and started building something or building a ramp with our scooters, running around the village. Uh, it was just a big playground for us, and um, we were blessed that we had it because it just gave us a safe environment to play around with and just have fun. But then you had all these people that were coming in from the community to Old World, whether it be shopping or coming to Oktoberfest, and, what are you guys saying? What are they doing here? This is, this is where we live, right? I mean, you had to delineate a little bit between yes, the I, public and actually living and breathing with, with mom and dad and grandpa and everything. I remember Ronan as a kid, he was about this high and there was a packed people in here and he would crawl underneath everyone's legs and get through there. So it was just good memories. So who's gonna take on the legacy, right? Who's gonna carry on the torch? All of you. We're all taking the torch and working as a team to make it a better place and carry on his legacy. He worked very hard for it and we want to make him proud. I think he's a proud papa, right Joe? Proud? <laughs> all right. Well again, thank you Marcus and thank you everyone uh, for allowing us to come here and tell that legacy story because Huntington Beach, this is it. This is the jewel of North Huntington Beach if not of Orange County. This is the beer garden at Old World. I'm Matt Liffering. We'll see you next time.